Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video, I am going to be going over the three settings you must set up on your Squarespace website for SEO. So think of this as kind of like beginner's guide to Squarespace SEO or like Squarespace SEO 101. Like if you do not know where to start, this is it. I am laying out, you know, the three settings you need to do on your Squarespace website. And this is just a way to get you started. A lot of people are like, wow, I wanna learn about Squarespace SEO, but I just don't know how, I don't know where to begin. And as an expert in Squarespace SEO, I decided like, why not just show you, literally show you. So that's what I'm doing here in this video tutorial. So I'm gonna be demoing everything on a um, demo trial website with Squarespace. This is, I think I'm using the Raleigh template, which is a, brine template from the squarespace 7.0 but if you're on squarespace 7.1 it's like basically the same thing too so you can still follow along whether you're on 7.0 or 7.1 so in this um like i mentioned before i'm going to be going over three settings you must set up on your squarespace website for seo but first i want to tell you that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist that you can download totally for free. Um, so I'm gonna link to that down below. But if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out the whole Squarespace SEO thing, like make sure you get this checklist because it's gonna go through so much more than just these basic three things that I have for you here. So um, let's dive right into it. Okay, so these are things that I go through with my consulting clients. This is what I teach in my program, um, Top Squarespace SEO, which I'll link both of those down below. But either way, I'm gonna give you a demo here so you can see exactly what to do, where to begin, where to start. So like I said, this is a demo website. It's purely trial, it's not like live yet, but you can see how things go. Okay, so the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is log into the back end of your Squarespace website. Duh, <laughs> like of course. And then once you're done, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect and verify our website with Google Search Console. So if you're like, oh my gosh, that sounds scary or technical, don't worry, it's actually really, really simple. So there's two ways you can do it. And if you follow in the blog post that goes along with this video, which again, it's linked to in the description here, um, you can see the two ways to do it, but I'll show you how it goes. So first off, you can go to settings and then click on connected accounts. And then you can click connect account here. And you see here where it says G search console, that's Google search console. So you're just gonna click on that and then um, you know connect it to your email address and log in and stuff. And it's so straightforward. It's like, can you log into your email? Yes, you can. So that's what you do. So that's the first way to go about it. The second way you can do it is to connect and verify your website with Google Search Console is to click on the analytics tab. Then here you're gonna scroll down to where it says search keywords. And again, remember there's no data because this is just a trial website right now. But once you're on search keywords, you see here that it says Google Search Keywords, verify your site with Google Search Console, blah, blah, blah. You're just gonna click connect. And again, same thing too, it's gonna show you um, you know, like you can log in here um, with the correct account and just get it going. Okay, so that is the very first setting you need to fill out on your Squarespace website in order to get that up and running. But let's keep going now and I'm gonna show you some of the other settings here. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill out the SEO site description. Okay, point number two. So this, you're gonna fill it out by going to marketing and then SEO, and then down here, I think, I don't know if can you see me behind my little picture, but if you scroll down, you can see that there's a field here called SEO site description. So again, remember, this is just a fake demo website for a company I made up, Coastal Constructions. As far as I know, it's not a real thing, especially not in the concept here, but we're filling out this SEO site description and we have about 400 characters to work with. And while you're filling this section out, you want to make sure that it is keyword rich, meaning that you're using the target keywords that you want people to be searching for online and finding your website, right? So you're, again, keywords are kind of the bridge that connects your website with what someone does in an online search. So when you're filling out this SEO site description, remember that this is kind of like 
You can think of it as being the overview of your entire website, but basically it is associated with the homepage of your website. Because again, the homepage, it's the landing point, it's people's first point of interaction with you. It's where Google as a search engine is going to start when they're doing the whole crawling and indexing process. So this SEO site description, it will be associated with your homepage, but think of it as your entire website or business or brand. And I'm gonna show you like, you can access this SEO site description from here, but I'm also going to show you that you can access the same field through the page description. So if you go back here to the um, main, you know, back end of your website, if you go to pages, and then you can see here, like for in this case, to show you guys a really easy example here, I've made the about page to be the home page. You can see it here that there's the little home icon right beside it. So that's how you can tell it's the home page right now. Um, so you're going to click on this gear icon to open up the page settings. And then you see here, I click on SEO. And then down here, it's saying search results preview, blah, 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 blah. And it's saying this page is your home page. Search engines use this information from your site's SEO settings to show your page and search results, blah, 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 blah. And then where it says here, edit website SEO settings, if I were to click on this, it's going to take me right back to where we just were. Remember, see, marketing, SEO, down here to SEO site description. So you can access this information or this field in either spot, but whatever it is, this second setting, which is filling out the SEO site description, is something that you must do. Okay, now I'm going to show you the third step that you must be doing or the third setting you have to fill out. And this is filling out the page or collection SEO descriptions. All right, so that this is something that you're going to have to do in variations um, for every single web page you have, every single blog post that you have, things like that. So first, let me show you how to do it with a page and then we'll move on to more of the like collection thing. So again, um, here I am, I'm logged into the back end of my website, uh, the main dashboard, I'm gonna click on pages. And then let me show you, um, for example, with the contact page of this fake website, okay? So I'm gonna click on this gear icon here um, and click on it and go over to the SEO tab again, which remember, you might remember that we were just here when we were looking at the site description for that homepage. But now you can see that if you go down to the bottom, there's an SEO description. It says optional, but it really should be required in my, in my complete honesty. And again, you'll have about 400 characters to work with. And you want to fill in this section to explain to search engines, like what is this page about? So you're explaining the content of your web page, like what kind of stuff you have on it. Like you wanna make sure that it's keyword rich, meaning that you're including keywords that people would be searching for, and hopefully you can connect them through that way. Um, in the case of the contact page, it's you're obviously not gonna use the full 400 characters because, I mean, there's only so much you can say about a contact page, but if you're doing it for, let's say, um, an outline of a service or something like that, one of those pages, it's obviously gonna be a bit more robust. But either way, you're gonna fill out this SEO site description for the page and then like, you know, click save. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for every single one of the pages that you have on your website. So whether it's in your primary navigation, your not link section, either way for each one, you're gonna click on it, open the page settings, go to SEO, and then down here where it says SEO description, you have to fill this out each and every time. And a word of the wise is that you do not want to just simply copy and paste the same SEO description for every single page on the website. Because remember, you're trying to give an SEO description that is contextual, so unique to that page, and that includes keywords that are specific to this page. So it cannot just be a copy and paste thing. You have to do this individually for every single page on your website, okay? So now that we've covered pages, let's talk about how we can do something similar for collections that you're using on your website. And if you're like, oh my God, Charlotte, like what's a collection? Don't worry. It's basically things like blog pages, product pages, um, event pages, portfolio pages, anything like that. So let me show you just using the blog is an example, but you know, it's kind of the same thing if whether you're doing an event page or yeah, like anything like that. So I've just got a demo blog post here, you can see. 
um, you know, the very, very basic outline just to show you, but you're going to click on the edit and that's going to open up the blog post. And you see here, there's an SEO tab, same thing that we just saw on the pages itself, but now here we're doing it for a post. And again, you're going to scroll down to where it says SEO description and fill in about you know, as much as it makes sense, the 400 character limit. So this is where you're going to use those keywords, describe what your what kind of content you have here in the blog post, um, you know, maybe make mention if you have like a content upgrade or a lead magnet or a freebie of some sort, because um, that can be important from an SEO point of view as well. And fill this all out. And then when you're done, you're just going to click save. So again, whether you're filling out this SEO description for the page, a blog post, any other type of collection that you have on your website, you're going to want to do that in a way that is unique for the page or post or whatever it is. And that you're using all the keywords that are going to help you to target your ideal audience. And also that search engines will show you up in search results for those keywords. So I hope this has been helpful. These are the top three settings that you must fill out for your Squarespace website if you're focused on SEO. And again, remember that if you're still kind of starting out or whether you've been at this a little while, you want to get this SEO checklist. It's like a one page printout that goes through so many of the different factors of that influence SEO on your Squarespace website. And you can literally print it out, put it next to your desk, work through each little one of it. And it's a free download. I've included the link here so you can grab a copy of that. Um, if you like this video, take a look at some of the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel. I talk a lot about Squarespace, SEO, web design and development, growing your website, increasing traffic, all that sort of thing. You can go to my website, charlotteohara.ca, and browse all the content I have there. I've got lots of blog posts, um, resources, you know, all sorts of things to help you out with Squarespace SEO and web design development, all that sort of thing. So take a look at the website too. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up to let me know you like this kind of content, more of these tutorials or these demos, because I'm planning to make quite a few of them over the next little while. Um, so yeah, like the video, leave me a comment. If you want to, you can hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a new video because they're coming. I've got, I've got a content plan for you guys. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. Um, I look forward to seeing that you've done all of these on your own Squarespace website and that you start getting amazing results. So let me know once you've done them, how it worked out, if it was easy to follow, all that sort of thing. Bye now. See you.